All right, so in the last video, Fundamentals of Probability, we took a look at this equation here. Number of outcomes you're looking for over number of total possible outcomes. And this can be used anytime the likelihood of any specific outcome is, uh, is equal to all the likelihood of all other outcomes occurring. This can be used a whole lot. It'll get you out of a lot of jams in probability, so remember this equation. I want to get a little bit more technical in this video, and please bear with me. I've had my pupils dilated. I can barely see anything on the screen. That's why I'm wearing these sunglasses, but we're going to make it work. So the denominator of this equation, number of total possible outcomes, is also known as the sample space. That's all possible outcomes. That's the sample space. And up top, the certain number of outcomes we're looking for is called an event. The sample space is usually denoted by an S. And an event is denoted by some other letter. So it might be A, B, something along those lines. So number of outcomes you're looking for over total possible outcomes. We can sort of demonstrate this graphically. I'll go back to using black here. The sample space might be a box. All the realm of possibilities exist within that box. And the event, we'll call this event A, forms a subset of that box. So everything in blue is, let, let's, let's actually use an example here. Suppose we are looking, we'll go back to the example of a deck of cards. Um, suppose event A Event A is picking a heart from a deck of cards, from a deck of 52 cards. If we want to know the probability of that event happening, we call this P of A, the probability of event A happening. And in this case, it's the number of outcomes we're looking for, that's 13. Over the number of total possible outcomes, there are 52 cards in the deck, all of which we're we could possibly have drawn. This is also can be changed to 1 fourth. So that's the probability. probability of event A happening is 13 out of 52. This is the graphical representation. This is the sample space S is any card that might have been drawn. So the Queen of Clubs is out here somewhere. So is the uh, Three of Spades. Uh, and this, these are the 13 hearts. I don't know if that exa is exactly a quarter of the sample space, but you get the idea here. Um, we also have something that's called the complement of A. And the complement of A is denoted by this. It means everything that is not A. Which in the case of drawing a card, when we're saying A is drawing a heart from a deck of 52 cards, what did I say? Queen of clubs, that's in the complement of A. So is the three of spades. So is the ten of diamonds. Those are all things that are not A, meaning not hearts. Any, any, drawing any other card would be within the complement of A. And so it would be represented by this. The red is the complement of A. In fact, let's write this down. So this is A, and this is the complement of A. And so we say, when we say, what's the probability of the complement of A, we write it just like we would write probability of, the com of, of A. But we put that little dash over the A so we know it's the complement of A. Well, we can think about this. I mean. If there are 13 hearts in a deck of 52 cards, then that means there are 52 minus 13 equals 39. There's 39 other cards in that deck. So the probability of getting something other than A is 39 out of 52. The probability of drawing something other than a heart is 39 out of 52. 
And this can actually simplify to another definition, which is this. Probability of the complement of A is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. This is an important definition. I'm going to circle it in a new color, green, because I want you all to remember it. So in this example, we're going to do something very similar. We're going to say, we're going to look at event B. Okay, I didn't mean to go with green, but whatever, we're going to run with it. So B is going to be equal to drawing, is the, the event B is drawing a face card. And that makes the complement of B drawing a non-face card. So what's the probability of event B? Well, it's going to be, we write it down like P of B is equal to, there are 12 face cards in a deck. There's the Jack, the Queen, and the King in four suits. So that's three times four is 12. Number of outcomes we're looking for is 12 over total possible outcomes is 52. We know from this equation here, probability of the complement of A is 1 minus the probability of A, that the probability of the complement of B is going to be equal to 1 minus 12 over 52, which is going to be equal to 40 over 52. And let's just think about that for a second. Let's make sure it makes sense. There are 12 face cards in the deck out of 52 cards total. That means there must be 42, there must be 40 other cards. The, the ace through 10, that's 10 cards times four, 40 other cards in the deck. So the complement of B, meaning any other card in the deck is gonna be equal to 40 over 52. So that completes our lesson on complements and a little bit of terminology, quick recap. S is the sample space, that's all possible outcomes. Events are called, are usually designated by, by capital letters, and so we say event A is all the outcomes we're looking for, and the probability of event A is P of A. The complement of any event is everything else in the sample space that is not encompassed by that specific event. And to find the probability of the complement of an event, we say 1 minus the probability of the event. Thanks.